Dionne Swift is a leading light in free motion thread painting with the sewing machine. And this is a beautiful piece of her work that I have in front of me. Free motion embroidery actually isn't something I've ever tried, but technically I, I suspect I could with a, a little bit of help, maybe from Dion. So the skill is free motion and then what? It's free motion, so thread painting can cover, come in so many different guises. I mean, it's a fabulous abstract landscape on there. So yeah, yeah that's thread. great. That. Um, little piece, there are different ways of doing it. There's a couple of, this is my old city and guilds work. And it's just an interpretation of Monet for it, but it's thread painting on organzas, which are then chopped up and reattached together to be quite an abstract piece. And you used zigzag here. I've used a zigzag. That's a straight a stitch. A straight on the stitch. machine, we've got a variable zigzag function, okay. which we're going to look at in a minute. And again, this is free machine as well. And it's just playing with everything if you want to. Different layers of organza, some of it's burnt back, with some reverse bobbin work, you know, the sweet papers used on here, some foiling. There's all kinds of different ways oh that goodness. you can add texture and depth to it. So it's a really nice way just to play with everything. Um, and you, it's, it's, it's landscapes, this makes me think of Tuscany trees. Yeah, it's that. this is with the variable zigzag on the machine, right. which we're going to look at in a minute. So you've got the function on here, using the knee lift, right. um, and you're very, so it goes from 9mm and you can alter the widths of it as you're sewing. Right. So I'll we'll switch on in a minute and we'll have a little play with oh, it. I, I use my knee lift just to lift the, the, the foot, yeah, but, that, what, but this the is a machine special will do that for, it, for you automatically, yes, won't it? Yes, this is a special function that's built into the machine called variable zigzag. So we can do all oh, kinds of things with it. So we just ask the machine. Yes, and you're just sewing away using the knee lift. As you're taking the pressure off the knee lift, then the zigzag will widen or narrow as you yeah, sew. Right. You can also fix it so I quite often use a five or a six mil maximum width on it. Okay. But it's okay. just another way to play and you can fill up quite large areas very quickly. So, so you, you write your name. I can write my that name. A bit, of, a bit of practice. That's a bit of practice, yes. yes. But this and again, is a good example. Sorry yeah. to cut across. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really yeah. good example, isn't it? And you Why can, it's just it? playing with it. It really is finding, it's like free motion. As you're free motioning, you'll find your almost rhythm after a while. Okay. I've discovered I'm very good at doing Tuscan landscapes <laughs> with it. <laughs> so. And this, if it was in blue, wouldn't yep. that be ripples of the sea? Yep. You yeah, could do, it is. Absolutely. And there's a little bit, that's just some little bit of hand dyed fabric with just, and it is one of those, just play with it. These are more like, I suppose you could fill them in as grasses on the bottom of something, just different oh, ways nice. going up and yeah, down. Reeds or something. For yeah, doing it's, it's bulrushes, reeds. It's yeah, just see. really one of those that you can have a little play with and just keep on all your scraps and like these and bits and pieces just to see where you go with it. There's lots of different things you can do. It is. Okay, so, so show me really how. Can. I will show you how. Let me just get a nice clean piece. So again, I've got the free motion foot on. If I was quilting, I would use a special little quilting feet. But for thread painting or the variable zigzag, I use the open toe free motion foot That's that we're most that familiar with. The spring, they come with the machine. Yes. yes. It's one of the few times now that I actually take the foot pedal out and I will use a stop start button. I just find it easier. Mm -hmm. So we can do a stop start. It will do a single stitch the bottom thread up if you want and then you can literally see it's zigzagging so you can really really get lots of depth into something quite quickly and when are you using the knee lift i'm using the knee lift now can you see it's going wider if i bring the knee lift in it will go narrower and wider again if i'm trying to set I'm one of my little, little, little trees. trees. I'll make you yes. a tree. And so I can bring it in narrower, okay, okay. right down to straight, Ooh. and then go back again. Okay. And again, you can just take it in, so I'm coming down the centre again. Actually, we're in this variegated thread, it's looking, looking more like a ship yeah. with, it, with those lovely sails. So and if this, along, was, yeah. I was say if this is in blue, then it could be and the And again, the, the, I can go really sea. wide. And again, the fast, it's like with free motion, the faster you move it, the wider the stitch will be. Yes. But you can go back and you can go over it again, make it denser. You can leave it quite sparse if you want to. There's just, it's one of those, have a, have a little play with it. And again, sometimes we've all got pattern fabric that we've bought and then we're thinking, why on earth have I bought that? Have a play over the top of that with it. Say, I'm just, I quite like the meandering on it as well. And it's just... It would be lovely for doing, say, landscapes just with a plain thread. It's, just, it's 
quite rhythmic, it's quite... You, know, you can go really, really tiny and then come back again. Keep it very, very straight. Which is... Mm. And again, you can meander, so you can keep it really dense, you can open it out a lot. You can go sort of, it's like free motion, but again, it's the machine is zigzagging for you. And so it will. Oh, there we go. It's just having a little practice with it, having fun. It's one of those, just to sit down and go, right, let's just have a little play with this and see what it leads to. I was going to say, that's a word you've used an awful lot, yeah. um, is, is play, and I think it that's is play. what I need to go yeah. home and do, actually. Yeah. I need to go home and play. Yeah, I think, I think it's one of those stitches. I think the more you use it and explore yeah. it, the more you can do with it. It's just go home and play. Absolutely, <laughs> so that's a must-do.